Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good morning, the students. So this nice to see you again. So in this meeting, so I'm uh, I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the reading passage. Yeah, the title lesson pere. Yeah, uh, pagi persiapan so, mahasiswa pada periode akan belajar membaca tentang artikel. Laser very capitalism di sini setelah anda kalau setelah anda belajar belajar ini diharapkan mahasiswa seorang mahasiswa dapat memahami bagaimana cara membaca dan memahami teks ekonomi dengan baik ini menambah vocabulary dan dapat mengidentifikasi kata bahasa yang digunakan dalam teks ini ini adalah apa untuk saya screen materi hari ini nanti kita asal kita diskusi saat kita membaca belajar hati membaca mahasiswa diminta untuk dapat memvideo rekodkan bacaannya dan nanti kirimnya ke komen di sini ya oke okay, yang sini adalah pertemuan ketiga lah ada dulu ada the title of this article is my superior capitalism So at this end of this lesson, you will be uh, the student will be able to identify the social function, the general structure, and the linguistic feature of this particular about lesson very capital. So in this end opportunity, I, I I want to read this uh, article, and all all of you must listen to my readings, and after that you must uh, after after that. You must video record your reading, and you can send your link of your video here, so I can uh, we can look at your pronunciation. Okay, okay. Please listen to me carefully. So listen to me carefully. Okay. Lesser very capitalism stem from the theories of Adam Smith, Scott in 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 seventeen seventeen seventy six in his book The Wealth of Nation. Smith argued that the society's interests are best served when the individuals within the society are allowed to pursue their own self-interest. Smith believed that each person should be allowed to work toward, toward his or her own economic gain without interference from governments. In doing so, each person would unintentionally be working for the good of society as a whole, and society would benefit most when there was the least. Interfere with its pursuit of economic self-interest. Governments would therefore leave the economy to its citizens. The French term "laissez faire" implies that there will be no interference in the economy. Loosely translated, it means let them do as they see fit. Okay, the features of laissez faire capitalism are private ownership of property. So this is one of the features of laissez fairism. Smith argued that the equation of wealth, including product, is properly the concept of private individuals, not of government, and the resources that are used to create wealth must be owned by private individuals. Economists recognize three categories of resources: land, labor, and capital, also known as the factors of production. Land includes the land and the natural resources on and on land, in, on and uh, on on and in the land. Labor is the work performed by people. Capital includes financial resources, building, machinery, tools, and equipment that are used in the organization operation. We have referred to these resources as material, human, and financial resources, and we shall continue to do so. Today, business people use the term capital to mean both capital goods and the money needed to purchase them. Smith and Jude for the That the owners of the factors of production should be, should be free to determine how these resources are used. They should also be free to enjoy the income and other benefit that they may derive from the ownership of these resources. Economic freedoms make economic freedom external to all those involved in the economy. For the owners of land and capital, this freedom includes the right to rent, sell. Or invest the resources and the right to use the resources to produce any product and offer it for sale at the, the price they choose. For workers, this economic freedom means the right to accept or reject any job they are offered. For all individual economics, freedom includes the right to purchase any good or service 
that is offered for sale by producers. This right, however, do not include a guarantee of economic success, nor do they include the right to harm others during the pursuit of one's of interest. Happy competitive market. A crucial part of SME theory is the competitive market composed of large numbers of buyers and sellers. Economic freedom ensures the existence of competitive market because sellers and buyers can enter market as they choose. Sellers enter a market to import to earn profit when or wages. Buyers enter market to purchase resources and, product and products. Then in a free market, sellers compete for sale and buyers compete for available goods, surplus and resources. This freedom to enter a lead or lead market at will has given rise to the name free market economy for the capitalism that Smith described. Limited rule of government. In Smith's view, the rule of government should be limited to providing defense against foreign enemies, ensuring internal order, and furnishing public works and education. With regards to economy, government should act only as rule maker and umpire. As a rule maker, government should provide laws that ensure economic freedom and promote competition. As umpire, it should act to settle disputes arising from completing the interpretation of its laws. Government, according to Adam Smith, should have no major economic responsibilities beyond this. What, how, and for whom in the free market economy? Smith lies a fairy capitalism sound as though it should lead to chaos, not to answer to the basic, basic economic question. How can millions of individuals and firms all interest not only on their own self-interest produce an orderly economy system? One response might be simple. They can do and they can and they can and they do. Most of the industri industrialized nation of the world exhibit some form of modified capitalist economy and this economy is the world. A better response, however, is that this million of individuals and firms actually provide very concrete and detailed answers to the three basic questions. What to produce? This question is answered continually by consumers as they spend their dollars in the various markets for goods and services. When consumers buy specific products like by testing the dollar food for this product, this production tells resource owners to produce more of this product and more of the capital good with which the product is manufactured. Conversely, when consumers refuse to buy a product at its green price, they are voting against the product, telling product to either reduce the price or its of on production. In each, in each case, consumers are giving a very specific answer concerning a very specific product. And how to produce this two fact of this question are answered by producers as they enter, enter various market and compete for sales and profit. Those who, produce, who those who produce for a particular market answer the question, who will produce simply by being in that market? The answer, of course, is well, we will. Competition within very within various market determines which resources will be used. To compete as effectively as possible in the product market, producers try to use the most efficient least cost combination of resources. When a particular resource can be used to produce two or more different products, then producers must also compete with each other in the market for that resource. And if the price of one needed resources become too high, producers will look for substitute resources, say, plastic in case of metal. The resources that will be used to produce are those that best perform the function at least for us. For whom to produce? In a market economy, goods are distributed to those who have the money to purchase them. This money is earned by individual as wages, rent, profit, and interest. And this is a payment for the use of economic resources. Money is therefore a medium of chain, an activity defined that is in the exchange of resources for goods and services. The distribution of goods and services who get what therefore depend on the current prices of economic resources and of the various goods and services and, and prices in their own in return are determined by the balance of supply and demand. So I have read for I have read the article for you. And so up and so uh, you, uh, you must video, you must read this article and video recording video recording your video record your article 
and you send and upload to the and upload to YouTube and you send the links here or or on WhatsApp group. So I can I can look at the your reading and your pronunciation. So if there's mistake in your pronunciation, I will tell you the the the, the mistake and you can you must improve it. Okay, you understand? So you uh, so you must try and try and try to read this article. Okay. So after you after you after uh, read this article, you must study the word study. So so you can start you can study the word capital. What is capital? So when the capital refers to now, it mean the it mean the the important city. So like Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia. So it mean that capital means the important city in the country. Or Pontiana is the capital city of West Kalimantan. So it is it refers to the city or town in in the region. Some uh, example. Warsaw is, is the capital of Poland, and besides, in, in, in addition, so the, the meaning of capital is wealth in the form of money. So when you say that I don't have capital, it means that I don't have money. I don't have capital. I do not have money. So wealth in the form of money or other asset owned by a person or organization or available or contributed for a particular purpose, such as starting a company or investing. So do you, do, you, do you want to run this? I'm oh, sorry, I have no capital. It means that I don't have money to run business. Yeah, so example, right risk of return on interest capital were high. And when, when the word capital refers to adjective, it means yeah, liable to death penalty, yeah, capital of crime, capital sentence. Yeah. So the, the murder was sentenced to capital, it was, uh, was set to capital sentence like that. Yeah, it is refers to the death penalty, yeah. So death penalty is uh, sentence to death, yeah. So we sentence to death means the capital crime, so right? And then uh, in that side, the, the capital later, so yeah, in the terms of the last side. So you must write uh, the name or the title of the thesis in capitalize, yeah. When the word capital refers to exclamation, it can be used to. It can be used to express approval, satisfaction, or delight. It, yeah. Example, wow, that's a splendid capital. It means that you express your satisfaction, you express the approval or delight. Wow, that's a splendid capital like that. Okay, so this is the reading set I have read for you, and you must do the video reading, video recording of your of this your reading, and you must send your the link of. Uh, your video in on our group or in this comment, okay? Okay. After this, I will. I. I. I uh, after this, I want to explain about grammar. We are focus on grammar. So, so we talk about simple future ten. What? What is simple future ten? And when we use simple future ten? So let me uh, scale. Let's spin the simple simple future ten, okay? Okay, so this is the simple feature ten. So when we talk, when 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 must we use simple feature ten? So we use simple feature ten to talk about future plan, future action. So when when you do something in the future, so you must use simple feature ten. Or in other words, you can see, you can say using feature ten. Okay, so there are two forms to express feature ten. So we use will, and we also we can use to begin to. And when we use will, so will plus simple form of the verb infinitive, yeah. So plus subject plus will plus infinitive, simple form of the verb. Example: I will see her at five. I will run business in the. I I will run. I will run a business next year. So subject plus will plus infinitive. So after will must be followed by infinitive or will plus plus simple form of the verb, yeah. So. If it if will uh, is uh, is put by verb, so you must put infinity. But when you when you must when you put adjective after will, so you must put be after will. I will be busy tomorrow. I will be in Jakarta next week. Yeah, so this is example. And the other form is the to be going to be here refers to M is R. Yeah, M is R. Going to not really, but going to means means yeah refers to the future. Yeah. Akan yeah, plus simple verb, uh, simple form of the verb. So example, Raman is going to sign up. Etc. Ram, I, I am going. To, I am going to study English at school now. Yeah. I'm going to study English at school now. So after going to plus infinitive without two, okay. And then it is the simple future. And then the second is yes, no question. 
Yeah, no schedule. Yeah, wheel. So when you want to make merchandise in future tense, so you must move wheel. You must move the wheel to the front of the subject. Right? Example, Vicky will teach English next semester. So you, when you want to make question, so question uh, to make yes, no question. So you must move wheel before uh, to the front of the subject. Yeah, must will must be put before subject or will must be must be moved to the front of the subject. So will he teach English next semester? So they say, oh, yes, I will. Yes, he will. But no, no, he wants. No, no, he will not, but no, he wants. Okay. Will you study English tomorrow? Oh, yes, I will. No, I won't. So the word will must be moved to the front of the subject you. Okay, it's the way how to make this no question. If, uh, if you say that Vicky will study English tomorrow, it's wrong, it's positive. And the intonation is different from from negative uh, from uh, interrogative. Okay, so it's the second, yes, no question. And then uh, Yes, no question by using we going to. So you must the same with the wheel, but you must move B to the front of the subject and first going to like that, yeah? To find the subject for the group. Example, Vicky is going to teach English next semester. So is Vicky going? So the is the to be is must be moved to the front of subject Vicky, yeah? So is Vicky going to teach English next semester? Yes, it is. No reason. Not that it's not, but no reasons, right? Uh, is your mother going to to rise now? Yes, she is. No season. So you must put to be, or you must move to be to the front of the subject. So when you want to make yes, no question, but you should going to be, be, be going to, okay? Okay, the next is, uh, so instead of uh, yes no, or no question, so we we, uh, we have also double W H question. Yeah, what W H questions? It means that uh the question uh, start is started by using question words like who when what how where etc so you must move the w at question word to the front of the yes or no question form example will we keep this english next semester so you want to you want to know where the the time that semester when will we keep it english when will when will we keep this english the answer next semester so right when will we keep this English next semester? The answer. And if you if you want to know uh, what uh, something Vicky teaches, you must you, you can use the question what what you can you can put uh, uh, the question what what to the front of the yes no question. What will Vicky teach next semester? What will Vicky teach next semester? Like that. Not what will not not what Vicky will teach wrong. So you must up up to the question what must be followed by a to be will and then plus subject and plus infinitive. So what will we it teach next semester? If you want to know the actor, the doer of the accent, so you can use the word will. Who will teach English next semester? Who will teach English next semester? Picky will. But picky, you must answer picky will. If you answer picky, it's wrong. So you must answer picky will. Okay? This is the next question. And then it's the same, it's the same, it, it is, it is as it is equal to W question, W equation to up going to. So you must move the W equation word to the front of yes, no question, question form. Example, is Vicky going to take English next semester? So you want to know the time, etc. When is Vicky going to take English? When is Vicky going to take English next semester? So that, if you want to know something taught by Vicky, so you can ask, yes, you can use what. And then what is Vicky going to teach next semester? What is Vicky going to teach next semester? What is Vicky going to teach next semester? So when uh, I have a question, for example, di mana kamu akan belajar bahasa Inggris? So di mana? So, uh, so I think you have not how to say di mana, yeah? Akan, and then belajar. Uh, so di mana, where? So where will? you study English, where will you study English? Don't say where you will study English, it's wrong. It's, it's not a question, it's positive. But then, so you must say, where will you study English? Or where are you going to study English? It's the way how to make question in the simple future time. Okay, in negative, so you put, in negative, you must put not after will or be, so right? So in negative, you must put, you must add not between will and the verb. Vicky will not teach English next semester. Bahasanya tidak akan. 
Vicky will not teach English in his semester. Okay, please, it, please uh, test it my sentence. Number one, it, kami akan belajar bisnis tahun depan. Kami tidak akan belajar bisnis tahun depan. Oke, okay. yes, yes, yes. kita akan jawab. Oke, okay. number two, Pak Supardi tidak akan mengajar bahasa Inggris di sekolah besok. Pak Supardi tidak akan mengajar bahasa ini di sekolah besok. Oke, okay, number three. Ekonomi Indonesia tidak akan membaik tahun depan. Ekonomi Indonesia tidak akan membaik tahun depan. Oke, okay. ya, okay. Satu, you can read, you can write your answer in the in the comment ya, in in, in simple PDF as ID. Oke, okay. and you can also put at not after the B form of the verb in the beginning to form. Vicky is not going to teach English next semester. It is simple. It's very easy to to form negative in future tense. So you must put not after the after will and verb and after be and when to say this direct way and then will so will indicate promise so you can use will to indicate promise determination and for into action prediction or inevitability for the future example helen's money will disappear is prediction helen's money will disappear so will in the sentence express indicate prediction we will need a bigger classroom inevitability we will need a bigger classroom inevitability and i will spend your money carefully promise i will study english very hard it's promise i will spend your money carefully it's a promise right so this sentence will in this sentence uh, indicate promise carl will get an a in this class determination carl will get an a in this class oh i will get a in my in english i will get a in english so will in this sentence indicate determination and then we're going to so when we use when we use when when do we use we begin, we begin to we're going to is used for prediction and inevitability but not promise not promise for little action or division but only prediction crystal is going to meet a tall, tall handsome man prediction we are going to need more laptop inevitability okay okay don't don't use okay don't use will for an action or even plan for the future and use be going to for lesson or even plan for the future yeah don't use will for an action or even plan for the future but when you if you when you plan event or action you must use to be going to escape yeah this do yeah. example if you if you plan to go to go to Vietnam don't say I don't say you I will go to Vietnam but I am going to go to Vietnam so that because you have plans yeah you have planned the event and some and some the event is event is certain so you must use to be able to but when the event is not certain you can use a real i will get i will get the house next year it's still just a, just a just a plan your promise your prediction okay in negative will not want can can be refusal i want to do my homework I won't play back in time. It's refusal. And the going to cannot can also be used to mean refusal. I'm not going to do my homework. Okay. Okay. And sell. Sell another form of will is mainly you squid I or we. I sell, we sell, I sell and class early. I we sell leave class at 11. Very formal. Correct? So sell is only used for subject I and we. Okay. And simple present, present tense. As a feature meaning, it's a word in the close that express time and condition with this word. When, whenever, while, until, before, after, as soon as better time. When Carl finished the thesis, he and his wife will watch TV. Condition, if, unless, in case, in case you need me, I will be in my office. Okay. And simple feature 10 will all be going to is just in the main clause of a feature 10 sentence that contain a dependent clause. If time or condition, the main clause determine the tenth of the whole sentence. Will is most commonly used. When if I have money, I will buy I will buy the dictionary. If I have money, I will buy the dictionary. Right? When the ceremony when the ceremony is over, your know, India will live for their honeymoon. So in the in the main clause, we use simple we use picture present picture ten. And the, in the subordinate clause, in the first we use simple present tense. Okay, so, and simple present tense, uh, or simple present future meaning, 
The simple person has to terminate with certain specific verb that indicate a scheduled event, start, begin, and etc. The wedding begin at two next Saturday. Okay, the class begin at eight. The class or closes at one etc. Okay, this is the this okay, this okay. This is the simple person the simple field ten. So I hope that you can. You can study simple. You can read the theory of simple present ten. So uh, you must practice and you must do this exercise given in the chapter in the chapter two chapter chapter three yeah or chapter two in the third meeting. So about economy with the with the with focus on grammar simple simple future ten yeah. So okay, I think uh, I think that's all for this meeting. So we can see you later. See you later. Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you for watching this and you must do this exercise after watching this video. If you have question, you can write your question in the comments and I'll see you later next week. Goodbye, my students.